Hey, this is Professor Perez from Saddleback College. Today, we're gonna solve some equations. Our student of the semester, Charlie, says he can hardly wait. He better be ready to go. Charlie, what are you doing? What? We're solving equations today. Now remember, if you don't get this down. I know. Next semester. That's right. And that goes for you, too. All right, Charlie, here we go. Right there. X subtract five equals nine. Now remember, the addition property of equality said we can add the same number to both sides. And remember, adding a negative number is the same as subtraction. Therefore, we can subtract the same numbers from both sides. All right. Now, in this case, we're going to have to add 5 to both sides. Why, Charlie? Because negative 5 plus 5 is 0. That's right. Now, remember, x subtract 5 is the same as x plus a negative 5. So we're going to treat that subtract 5 as a negative 5. Okay, Charlie, so we're going to add 5 to both sides, bring our bar down in our equal sign. What's a negative 5 plus 5? 0. 0, that's right. And x plus 0 leaves us with x on the left-hand side. And now what's 9 plus 5? 14. 14, that's right. And so our answer is that x equals 14. Now with all your equations, you can go back and verify that your solution is correct by going back to the original equation and, and substituting in x equals 14. And if we do that, 14 subtract 5 is 9. Therefore, our solution, x equals 14, is correct. There's a couple points for you. All right, Charlie, let's do another one. x subtract 6 equals a negative 3. Now, remember, we got to get that 1x by itself. So we have x plus a negative 6, or x subtract 6, so what do we need to do to both sides, Charlie? Add 6. Add 6. That's right. And so we'll bring our bar and our equals right there. And now, negative 6 plus 6 is 0. So left-hand side, we have x. What's negative 3 plus 6, Charlie? 3. Very nice. And so our answer is x equals 3. Let's do another one. x plus 8 equals 0. Now, don't get scared. We have x plus 8 this time, Charlie. So what do we need to do to both sides to get that 1x by itself? Subtract 8. That's right. And so we'll bring down our bar, our equal sign, plus 8 plus a negative 8 is equal to 0. Therefore, we have x on the left-hand side. Now, Charlie, what's 0 subtract 8? Or, if you want to look at it this way, what's 0 plus a negative 8? Negative 8. Negative 8, that's right. And our solution is x equals negative 8. Now, those were some good warm-up problems, so let's get some tougher ones. Now, here we have 5x equals 9. Remember, 5x means 5 times x. Our goal is to get 1x by itself. Okay, Charlie, now, since we have 5 times x and we want a 1x, what do we need to do to both sides? Divide by 5. Divide by 5, that's right. Why are we dividing by 5, Charlie? 5 over 5 is 1, because the 5 over 5 reduces to 1 over 1, and that will give us our 1x. Remember, that's our goal. Now, since we divided the left side by 5, we had to divide the right side by 5. And so, what's left on the right-hand side, Charlie? 9 over 5. Very nice there, Charlie. Okay, here we go for another one. Negative 3x equals 27, Charlie. What do we do to both sides? Divide by negative 3. That's right. Negative 3 divided by negative 3. Those reduce to 1 over 1, gives us our 1x on the left, and the right-hand side is 27 divided by negative 3. What is it, Charlie? Negative 9. Very nice there, Charlie. Negative 9, and that is our answer. Let's continue on. Now, don't get scared. This particular equation requires that we combine like terms first. Well, let's look on the left-hand side. Our like terms are what? 8x and 2x. That's right. So that gives us the 10x. Subtract 3. And now, on the right-hand side, Charlie, what's 2 plus 3 subtract 4? 1. Very nice there, Charlie. Now, here we go. Now, first, we have to get rid of our additions and subtractions that are attached to the x. Okay, so we have that negative 3 there, Charlie. So what do I need to do to both sides? Add 3. Add 3. Very nice. And now, negative 3 plus 3 cancel, they equal 0, 
and we have 10x on the left hand side, and the right hand side we have what? 4. 4. Now we're going to do what to both sides to get our 1x, Charlie? Divide by 10. Divide both sides by 10, that's right. And 10 divided by 10 is 1, and so we get the 1x on the left hand side. Now, 4 over 10, both a 4 and a 10 are divisible by 2's, so how does it reduce, Charlie? 2 over 5. Very nice there, and so what's our final answer? 2 fifths. Very nice there, Charlie. Whew. That was a tough one. Let's do some more. Here we go, Charlie. 4 thirds x equals 9. Now, don't get scared. Now here, we're going to use what we call the reciprocal approach. Meaning, we're going to multiply both sides by the reciprocal, because remember, when you multiply reciprocals together, that gives you 1. Now here we go, Charlie. I'm going to walk you through this one. We have 4 thirds x equals 9. Now, Charlie, what's the reciprocal of 4 over 3? 3 over 4. That's 3 over 4. That's right. And remember, when you multiply those reciprocals together, the 3 and the 3's will cancel, giving you 1's, and the 4 over 4 will cancel, giving you the 1's. And there you have your 1x on the left-hand side. Now, we have to multiply the 3 fourths by 9. Now, notice, Charlie, that 4 doesn't divide evenly into 9, so you can't kung fu this. So we have to write the 9 as a fraction. 9 over 1. Now, we can't reduce anything. How do you multiply fractions, Charlie? Straight across the top, straight across the bottom. Very nice there, Charlie, so bring us home. 27 over 4. Very nice there, 27 over 4. Wow, oh, that was a tough one. Let's do another one. Here we go, Charlie. 3 halves x equals 5 thirds. Okay, Charlie, what do we do to both sides? We're going to use a reciprocal approach. Multiply by two-thirds. That's right. Multiply both sides by two-thirds. And you see the twos cancel out, the threes cancel out, leaving you with the one x. And the right-hand side is what, Charlie? Ten over nine. Ten over nine. Very nice. Nice approach there. Well, we're going to try the same problem again using our clearing fractions or kung fu fraction technique. Here we go, Charlie. Three halves x equals five-thirds. What's the LCD for both our fractions? Six. It's a six. That's right. And so here, we're going to multiply both sides by 6, just like that. And now we use our Kung Fu approach, Charlie. 2 goes into 6, 3 times. And 3 times 3? 9. Is 9, but it's a 9x. On the right-hand side, 3 goes into 6, 2 times. And 2 times 5? 10. Is 10. There we go. Now, 9x equals 10. We need to divide both sides by what, Charlie? 9. 9. That gives us our 1x equals 9. 10 over 9. Very nice there, Charlie. So let's finish here and we're going to come back and we're going to do some more equations soon. Anyway, keep up with that homework and we'll see you again soon.